Hello everyone, Aiden here with Asset Moves YouTube channel and today we'll be talking about Chili's. What is Chili's, the whole project behind Chili's, uh, basically their whole purpose within the crypto space and how they're basically, you know, changing the whole sports and entertainment sector of uh, the crypto market. And so today, um, you know, is the first day of, you know, us uploading a YouTube video to Asset Move. So congratulations for being the first one to view an actual video on this specific YouTube channel. Uh, well, we're going to try and stay consistent with uploading, keeping you guys informed, uh, you know, with what's happening in the crypto space, uh, specifically with, uh, you know, leading blockchains, you know, from smart contracts to, you know, fintech providers, etc. You know, so anything that has a smart blockchain you know anything that has to do with blockchains you know smart contracts that basically solve a problem and bring utility to the market you know we're going to be covering this youtube channel so without further ado let's jump into this first project that we'll be reviewing today and basically giving you a little bit more insight on the project so the world's leading blockchain fintech provider for sports and entertainment that is chili's chili's developed associates.com sports and engagement platform which is built on the chili's blockchain infrastructure and uses CHZ as its exclusive on-platform currency. So, you know, basically what this project is doing is, you know, tapping into the whole sports entertainment market. Um, you know, there are some top clubs and top leagues in Europe, you know, that, you know, basically, you know, have huge followings and generate a good amount of revenue. So, you know, with Chile has been implementing themselves into this, you know, sporting sector, um, definitely, you know, opens up a lot of opportunities um, you know that still haven't been tapped in the crypto space and so you know it's just the beginning so as you can see here um, you know they already have a few official partners top you know well recognized clubs um, brands you know in you know in the world you know so these are like clubs here you can see here uh, Manchester City from England Paris Saint Germain from Paris and then you got Juventus from Italy you got Roma Atletico Madrid from Spain Galatasaray from Turkey so they're basically covering you know, a whole, you know, big sector of the world, you know, with, you know, cl top clubs, Barcelona, you know, the UFC, you know, it's not only soccer. So, you know, they're expanding quickly and, you know, it's, you know, very, uh, it's a very, it, for me as a sporting fan, you know, uh, you know, I'm a fan of basically, you know, football, soccer, you know, however you want to call it. Uh, for me, you know, this project excites me. I'm definitely going to be invested. And again, with any any video here on YouTube, you know, please do your due diligence. This is not financial advice. Um, this is only for entertainment purposes, and you know, basically, you know, giving you a little bit of information based on what's out in the internet, and then basically you making your own decisions. So please make your your own decisions, your due diligence. There is a lot of risk in this, but definitely a lot of opportunity as well, right? So again, you know, the official partners, um, you know, in every pretty much they're trying to cover a lot of the you know, the sporting sector, not only soccer. So they're trying to expand to all types of sports. And again, here, just to kind of in a brief um, explanation. So what is Chili's, right? Chili's is a currency option for blockchain uh, bag products and services geared toward mainstream consumers. We want to elevate everyday experiences, fan engagement, entertainment, alternative payment and solutions for conventional products and more. Chili's provides sports and entertainment entities with blockchain based tools to help them engage and monetize their audiences. So basically, you know, they're giving, you know, these clubs, you know, a tool where, you know, they can engage, um, you know, a little bit more on the personal side with their fans, you know, so they're able to obviously offer uh, these, you know, say, for example, like if they're part of Chili's and, you know, they hold like token holders of not, they can, you know, they're, they can qualify for memberships, uh, discounts. Um, you know, special events, whatever, you know, they're pretty much club members per se. And so they get all these perks by being club members, you know, and for me as a fan, like I said, you know, I would, you know, I would be stoked to, you know, say, for example, they had, a, you know, hypothetically speaking, they had an event in Barcelona, you know, before the Champions League, whatever game or something, you know, and you being a, you know, a holder of Chili's, you know, you know, you, you could have, you know, you could, you know, have some perks there, you know, say, for example, they have some events, you know, some like autograph, um, you know, sessions or whatnot. So all these things come into play. Um, it's a win-win situation for both parties. And so it's, you know, that's why it's very attractive, you know. Uh, obviously, like I said, do your due diligence, always uh, do your research. But this is basically 
uh, in, you know, in short, very brief, what Chili's is all about. I am very excited. And let's just jump into, you know, their social proof. Um, you know, are they, you know, have they been doing their homework? Have they, have they been, you know, working on their exposure? Because obviously we know that exposure is very, very important. Um, you know, if there's no eyeballs, then no one really knows who you are. So, you know, having a strong, pres a strong presence online is going to be crucial for any project. Um, you know, as far as, you know, social media right now, there's every like, you know, the, the, the world's population, I would say 80% is on social media. And, you know, it's very crucial that these, you know, projects have social media presence, presence and audiences that are engaged, you know, and, and believe in the project. So let's just jump into, um, you know, their Facebook. Let's see, um, you know, how many people are following them just to kind of check on, you know, their social proof and if it's, you know, perhaps a project that we want to look into. So you can see here that they have about... 10,000 followers, um, you know, that's a decent amount, I would like to say, for a newer project. You know, they're, they're growing, obviously, but you can see here that they do have some engagement and it's just not like random likes, per, uh, you know, for example. So it does seem like they have some type of engagement in their social media as far as Facebook. Obviously, that's not the biggest platform for crypto. Twitter is very uh, popular. So if I would say a 50,000 and above you know, following with engagement is ideal just to kind of, I guess, verify for me as in my own opinion, obviously, this is not like set in stone, but for me, you know, anything of under above 50K followers and, you know, I'm a little bit more on, um, on the, on the peace of mind side, right? With knowing that, you know, they have a following and they're just not going to disappear. So for 130K followers, uh, for me, that definitely, you know, gives me a good signal and just ease. And so for me personally, you know, I would definitely start looking a little like start believing a little bit more in the project and start looking more into the project, learning more about the perks and so forth. So they do have Discord, um, you know, they're covering all these, um, let's say this, your, their YouTube channel also very important. As you can see, you're now learning about YouTube. So the exposure there is basically uh, huge just because this is the second largest search engine in the world. And so... You know, it just makes sense that having a Good presence morning. on, you know, a social media platform that is being visited by billions of people on a daily basis, you know, it's very crucial to, to be, to have a presence there to grow, right? So you can see here 19, uh, about 20K subscribers. I think that's a healthy start and they have a good amount of views. So definitely, um, you know, they, this is a good sign. Um, so all in all. I think this project is something to, if you're, you know, a fan and even if you're not a fan, it does have, you know, it, it is delivering value. So that's um, something that, you know, all just, you know, by itself is worth looking into. Uh, so let's jump into the actual price right now. You can see now that right now we're about at the 25 cent mark. Um, we are in, you know, the market has had a little bit of a dip, but you can see here if um, we kind of look at the graph right here you can see that you know in the last 12 hours we can we've been steadily just kind of migrating downward um, and obviously just because you know you know the whole market is down right now and usually when you know say for example you know Bitcoin is down and obviously this is in my opinion you know obviously from based on what I've seen you know once Bitcoin is down you know all the other altcoin lower cap altcoins you know kind of tend to follow down. So this is where we're at right now. And if we look at the, you know, MFI money flow, let's see how much money is flowing into the actual, you know, project right now. You can see here that we're um, basically lingering in the, um, we're kind of at a resistance zone right now, you know, just kind of lingering um, uh, horizontally without just taking major dips. So this is, this has been in the last um, about 12 hours, you know, um, you can see here that in the last uh, week or so, we've been kind of, you know, in a resistance zone. Um, for me, I mean, it doesn't really, this is just a 12 hour, but, you know, obviously if you're, you know, if you believe in the project long term, you know, this really doesn't matter. Uh, this, uh, this data here now doesn't really matter, you know. So um, if we look at it at a, oh, I, I guess we can only look at it at a 12 hour, but either way, you know, I still, or 12, one day here, you can see here that, um, oh, went a little crazy, but this is where we're at right now, uh, today, uh, which is, uh, January 11th, uh, 2022. This is the current price. 
of chilies right now. So um, all in all, this is a project worth looking into. You can see here that a lot of people have been reviewing it on YouTube and you know have a good amount of views, good, good amount of exposure. Um, so definitely the eyeballs are there for you know for it to to grow you know basically so um again you know even like with search terms people are searching the project um you know they're listed on you know exchanges such as coinbase and you know basically um you know they do have the social media following and the presence and for me you know that just kind of puts me at ease if i was to be an investor so there you have it with you know this specific blockchain um, again do your due diligence and always, you know, like I said, do your research before anything. Uh, but if you want to take a look at the actual website, you can visit chilies.com. This is where you'll basically get to learn a bit more about the project. Um, you'll, you'll see if, you know, if they have any news coming up. They do have their medium. As you can see here that, um, you know, their official partner right now, they have, they've also just made a partnership with the Knicks. And obviously, you know, they're just going to keep doing that, expanding across all types of sports. You can see here, um, very, very, um, you know, very good, um, basically information that you can find about, you know, Chili's on a daily basis, always updating their stuff. And, you know, this is definitely something to kind of keep in mind if you know want to stay up to date with, you know, Chili. So there you have it. Um, again, if you found value in this specific video, uh, feel free to subscribe, like, uh, comment down below if you have any questions or if you, you would like to learn or if, if you would like me to kind of create uh, specific videos around specific questions that you might have um, also. So take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.